Hi guys, today I'm going to be talking about the ultrasonic sensor. So the ultrasonic sensor is this one on the front. Uh, it works by sending out a, oh well, ultrasonic sound. So a sound which humans can't hear and then the sound reflects off an object and goes back to the receiver. Then it calculates the time difference between when the sound was sent and when it was received. And according to that time, it can calculate how far away the object is from the sensor. So this ultrasonic sound sensor has a range of from three centimeters to four meters. So today I'm going to be doing some programming with or using the ultrasonic sensor and M-Block. So I have M-Block already opened on my computer. I need to make sure that the correct board is selected. So my M-Bot, M-Core board is selected. I need to connect. So I'm serial port COM3. Okay, so I'm connected. Now it's running the last program. So I'm going to upgrade the firmware, which will get rid of the last program that I was using. Okay. So, the ultrasonic sensor has this block here. This returns the value of the ultrasonic sensor, so it can be anywhere between three and 400, like I mentioned already. The default port is port 3, but you can plug it into any of the ports on the MBOT, port 1, 2, 3, 4. So you need to make sure that the, the port that you have selected in the MBOT software is the same as the port that you have actually plugged your ultrasonic sensor into on your MBOT. Um, it doesn't matter how experienced somebody is in the world of robotics, they I still make this mistake myself if there's a problem and the answer is you've got the wrong port selected in the software or it's plugged into the wrong port. So anyway, um, this is the ultrasonic sensor. Now, what can I do with it? Well, one of the modes of the default programs that the MBOT comes with is object avoidance. So we could write a program similar to the object avoidance program. So in order to do that, what do we need to do? Well, we need to say if the object is close to the MBOT, then change direction. Otherwise, just keep going forward. So we need, we're going to need an if-else block, which we have under the control scripts. So if, and then we need an operator, because we're going to say if, well, what does close mean? If the MBOT is close to a object, change direction. So maybe, you know, maybe I think close is 10 centimeters, maybe you think 20 centimeters. It's not really important, but just set a, set a threshold level. So I'm gonna say if, I'm gonna use this less than block here to compare two values. So if, and I'm gonna now put this ultrasonic sensor block into the left hand side. So if the ultrasonic sensor, or the, the distance that the ultrasonic sensor is reading is less than, is less than, I'm gonna type in a number, let's say, okay, 15 centimeters. So if the ultrasonic sensor detects a distance of less than 15 centimeters, then, Let's go turn right at speed 100. And if it doesn't detect a distance of less than 1500, then let's run forward at speed 100. Now, if we simply run this program, it's gonna, the first thing it's gonna do in the program is read the value from the ultrasonic sensor. And if it's less than 15, it's going to set the motors to run turns right. Otherwise, it's going to go forward. But we don't want that, right? We want to continually check the value of the ultrasonic sensor. So we need a loop so that it keeps checking and then it keeps determining what action to take based on 
the newest value from the ultrasonic sensor. So for that, we're going to need a loop and forever, because we want it effectively to run forever, is what we need to use. Should work, so let's give it a go. I'm going to run it from the M block environment first of all. So it runs forward, turns right, runs forward, turns right. So that's looking pretty good. So there you go, that is how to program the program with the using the ultrasonic sensor and the M-Block software. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Construct your dreams.